Ok, clase. Buenas tardes. Buenas tardes. Ok, vamos a practicar. Levántense. A. A. E. E. I. I. O. O. U. U. R. 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 Ir. Ir. Or. Or. Ur. Ur. Ra. Ra. Re. Re. Ri. Ri. Ro. Ro. Ru. Ru. Ra. Re. Ri. Ro. Ru. Ra. Re. Ri. Ro. Ru. Muy bien. R con R cigarro. R con R cigarro. R con R barril. R con R barril. Rápido corren las ruedas del ferrocarril. Rápido corren las ruedas del ferrocarril. Awesome. Rápido corren las ruedas. Rápido corren las ruedas del ferrocarril. Del ferrocarril. Okay, chévere, siéntense. Okay, today we are going to do a little bit of review. Then we are going to do current events and skits. So, vamos a empezar. ¿Cómo se dice el número 10? Ah, uh, snap, I gave it to you in Spanish. <laughs> ¿Cómo se dice uh, 12 en español? 12. 12. 12. Ok, ¿cómo se dice el número 10? Oh! <laughs> Fantastic being bilingual. How do you say, and uh, now I'm going in English. <laughs> ¿Cómo se dice el número 22 en español. 22. ¿Cómo? 22. 22. 22. 22. Chévere. ¿Cuánto es 2 más 5? 7. ¿Cómo? 7. 7. Muy bien. ¿Cuánto es 9 más 3? 12. 12. ¿Cómo es? 12. 12. Excelente. ¿Cuál es la fecha de hoy, Ben? ¿Cuál es la fecha de hoy? Sí. ¿Qué día es hoy? En la pizarra, ¿qué día es? Hoy es el... ¿Qué día de marzo? No entiendo. Ok. ¿Marzo? Sí. ¿Qué es marzo? March. 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 Muy bien. <laughs> ¡Excelente! It's almost like I gave it to him. Ok. Marzo, ¿qué día? ¿Qué día? Dos. Uh -huh. El 2 de marzo, muy bien. Clase, ¿qué día es hoy? El 2 de marzo. marzo. Ok, chévere. Marzo. Ahora vamos a ver qué vamos a hacer con los skits. Ok. Why do we do skits? Karina. So that we can um, learn like, our vocab and like our grammar and apply it in like a conversation instead of just like, having to write it down. Perfecto. Why do, what, what's another reason we do skits? To develop our oral skills. Right, which is going to allow you to do what with it? Have better comprehension. Right, and speak it in, in real life, right? This is what we want. We want to actually be able to use it. Um, I'm trying to remember the young man's name. He came to me this afternoon and thanked me. He only took Spanish one. And he thanked me and he said, you know, now I'm working, I think it was like Chick-fil-A or something like that. And I, I can understand some of the things that my coworkers are saying. And I was just really impressed that he came, he bothered to come all the way back to say that to me. He's like, I told him to slow down. <laughs> I was like, okay, you know, saying that in Spanish like that in English is not going to help him understand you, right? And he laughed. He goes, I said, okay. I said, so, baja la velocidad, slow down. So he did, and he's been talking back and forth with his coworker now, which is pretty cool. <laughs> okay then. Very nice. All right, so let's. Do you guys want to do getting us at current events primero? Why do we do current events? To get familiarized with the cultures of different um, Spanish speaking countries. Amen. Exactly why. Because we're very insular. In America, we don't have a lot of. It's not like Europe, where if you sneeze, you're in another country. You go to Spain and sneeze and boom, you're in France. You're in Guatemala and boom, you are in Belize, okay? No hay con quien hablar mucho idioma. We don't have a lot of uh, ways to express ourselves in another language in America. That's why it's now become mandatory um, for us to have two years of Spanish language. When I was a kid, we did not have mandatory language. We took it because we wanted to. When my dad was a kid, they said that you weren't allowed to speak Spanish in most schools. 
And that's true, especially in the Southwest. There was a lot of problems, mm -hmm, a lot of problems with Mexican kids not being allowed, being punished, being put into uh, situations where they were being punished for speaking another language. Okay, current event. Who has something good and juicy they want to show me? Someone? Colin, are you pulling one out? Okay. Okay, so come on up and do it. Maybe split it up so you both have a different piece. All right. Okay. All right. En España, Policia con la ayuda de las fuerzas de Br Británicas, uh, Francesas y Italianas han sido capaces puesto una organización de contrabando de personas. Okay, freeze. ¿De qué está hablando Daniel? What's he saying? What's he talking about? He said that um, there's a problem with uh, French and Italians and the contraband they bring with them. Contraband, excellent. What kind of word is that? Contrabando, contraband. What kind of word is that? Direct cognate. It's a cognate. Muy bien, excelente. Continue. Um, esta organización trae ella igualmente grandes cantidas de chinos en Britain, Ireland, France and Italy. Okay, Colin? Les dinero por falsificación de documents. Okay, freeze. Falsificación. Falsification. 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 Do you guys get how many words you know just by, by just making connections? Cognates are so easy for new language learners, and even though you're already in Spanish too, but you're in an accelerated class, you guys have so much, you, you guys have gotten so much better. I'm really proud of you guys. And Colin, your pronunciation is the bomb. And Daniel, you've gotten so much better. So, keep going. <clears throat> La policía española fue capaz de rastrear estas personas ya que sus documentos fueron utilizados en los aeropuertos de Barcelona, Madrid, Malaga, y Bilbao. Okay, in English? Okay, so I said in Spain, police with the help of the British, French, and Italian forces were able to bust a person smuggling organization. And uh, the organization was bringing large quantities of Chinese people into Britain, Ireland, France. Did they say why? The, to, free, to get free from China. Yeah. Oh, so it's like... Yeah, like, like they get paid. But they're like, this is, okay, so like the Coyotes from Mexico bring uh -huh. people over? Okay. Yeah. Okay, muy bien, excelente, gentlemen. Muy bien. All right, you guys want to do a skit or you guys want to do another current event? Skit? Skit. skit. Okay, who wants to go? <laughs> ben? No. Okay, we'll do it. Let's do it. Okay. <laughs> You guys need another warm up? Bar. 
porque de mi familia. ¿Qué quieres decir con eso? Déjame cantarte una historia. Es víspera de Año Nuevo y tus amigos están en una fiesta organizada por un viejo enemigo. Freeze. Clase, what is viejo enemigo? No, that's bueno. Friend, okay. Enemigo. Sonia? Huh? An old friend. No, enemigo. Tanner, enemy. Enemy. Mm -hmm. He's kind of getting away from an old enemy that's throwing.